Well, heavy fog made it a challenging morning commute. I mean, think about it. You, you, you finally get it, and now you have to wait three years? Come on. I have nothing to say. They don't have Amazon Prime? I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, sometimes you can have it delivered overnight. Yes. I mean, really quickly, but three years yeah. until that thing gets back I do here. not have the patience. And after 2020, maybe it, don't, it won't come back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It'd be misrouted somewhere. <laughs> it's like, you know what, I must, I'm going to skip Earth altogether. <laughs> don't blame it. I don't, right, I don't blame it either. I'd get lost in space, too. Let's take a look at the weather, because we do have some things to talk about. Here's a cold front that's been battling the dry air that's in place or this area of high pressure that's sitting to our south that's really acting like a blocking mechanism. It did not allow for this frontal boundary to impact us. We have been dealing with a bit of cloud cover and we're still pretty cloudy. In fact, foggy in some spots. Take a look at a live picture down the shore. This is courtesy of the Montreal Beach Resort and you cannot make out the beach. Only the sand and a few sh uh, some shrubble that you see there. Philadelphia right now temperatures are sitting right at 64 degrees. We're also in the 60s in Trenton and in Wilmington. A little bit milder places like Atlantic City. So the Jersey Shore, you are beginning to see some breaks of sunshine. Meanwhile, Allentown, you're right at 64 a cool 59 degrees up in the Poconos. And later today, we'll continue to see these clouds really struggle, but break for sunshine. Today, as I mentioned earlier, going to be partly to mostly cloudy out there. I think the best chance to see more sun is going to be later in the day, right before sunset. Temperatures by then in the mid 70s, so a mild end to our Wednesday evening. And we'll continue with gradual clearing here as the night progresses. But we are going to see this very same setup with fog developing over overnight and into the early morning hours of Thursday. So tonight, a low of 60 under partly to mostly cloudy skies, and then areas of fog will develop with those winds steadily out of the south. Hurricane Epsilon is still a Category 1 storm. We continue to watch this move west to northwest at 12 miles an hour. Really hasn't moved too much, or I should say hasn't increased in intensity. It's still going to remain a Category 1 storm, briefly maybe turn into a 2, but right now it is a, a Category 1 packing max sustained winds of 90 miles an hour. So on the stronger side of things, it'll continue to make its closest approach to Bermuda. Bermuda right now under hurricane watches at the moment as we head towards Tuesday, Thursday evening. As it makes its closest approach, it'll continue to move north and then shift further off towards the east. Back here at home, maybe we can have rough surf choppy seas, but that's about it. Back here at home, seven day forecast shows very mild conditions here for the second half of the work week with Thursday taking the cake being the warmest day this week. We anticipate highs to climb to 76 and then once all that morning fog clears, we'll see a little bit more sunshine. I think than what we'll see this afternoon on Friday. We're still in the 70s, still in the 70s Saturday and then Sunday we'll have a chance of range. And now notice those temperatures were back in the low 60s. All right, gonna enjoy this stretch while we have it. Teresa, thank you.